small case here. You can barely see my loader. I've been burning some brush pads up there in the cab again. Right there on top of the hill. It's Friday, March 27th. I uh, just getting started here. I want to show you. I had to break down and make a new tripod. This is not a tripod at all. This is the holder that was on my tripod and I bolted it down to a block of wood to hold my camera. Trying to get started around here. I got lumber to deliver today. And uh, so that means a couple of things. The number one thing is I gotta get my Myself around here and get the get the hatch open on my truck so I can hook on my trailer. It's just now seven o'clock. Anybody else coming around? And I also got to go feed these calves before I get my trailer hooked on. It's kind of a pain sometimes having to have a one truck to do everything but that gummit. Way a truck costs anymore, and the insurance and the tags to have one that sits around very much is uh, seems like a kind of waste. I have to get to looking in my truck, something stinks in here. This Mildred just got over about her. I have to do some adjusting on you. This block of woods holding my camera for me really good we used it a couple times but it's a little bit shaky the apartment's up on the hill sitting there waiting I believe I'll go feed them first maybe these others will come on we've had it was Monday, last time rain. Maybe it was Tuesday. Regardless, it's uh, finally drying up some. I gotta go push them brush piles in here after a while. They're still alive. I, I uh, burnt that yesterday and then all over there where they kept are. There was three big brush piles up there. We cut down some of these huge post oak trees so I get a little more light in there and be able to grow some better wheat patch in that first log. I don't remember what day it was, but the reason the hood's so doggone dirty is uh, because we put feed in my box first thing on Monday, I think it was, maybe Tuesday, and it was raining. The only thing about that board fence, it sure inhibits you being able to see everything. Yeah. 
Every one of them's in there. Oh, there comes the juniors. Now get down here into their pen pretty quick. Rolled my four-wheeler over. Went off over this hill backwards on it by accident. And what happened was, is I had a couple of square bales of hay on my four-wheeler. And uh, the rack on the back that I built sticks way over. And so I was backing down this. Actually, I wasn't backing down the hill. I was trying to get turned around right at the top. I learned a valuable lesson. You can't turn around up the top. So uh, my back wheels got just over the break of the hill, right up there at the very top. And uh, thing only has brakes on the front wheels, and they wasn't stopping me. And I had it in reverse. Couldn't do anything about that. So. These little old calves are growing pretty good. They are liking that wheat pasture. And uh, it's. I think there was a lot more of it growing than what we ever really realized because it's showing now a lot more. You can go up there and see rows all the way down through the whole field. Well, now we gotta go get hooked on the trailer. Sorry about the shakiness, I ain't got no way of fixing that. Since you're just hooked onto a block. Been getting some logs in. Rusty's been bringing a few. Uh, a lot of these are coming off from the ground down there at the campground, or the place down at the campground, Grove, GOBA. It's not around the buildings, it's on that across the road from there. He asked me if I wanted to log it, and I told him I didn't want to go down there and cut them, but I had a guy that would. Rusty went down there and looked and just thought there might be something worth cutting there, so. Back in here and see if we can get hooked onto my trailer. Gotta go get this lumber delivered and then I got a motor to pick up today. Dakota's pickups. Backing up to the trailer with this feed box on my truck is just like driving blind. Let's go see how good at driving blind I am. I gotta put my shoes away first. Well, not too bad, but we're a little ways off to one side. gum tennis elbow brace on. Didn't mean to have that with me.
Maybe. Still on that. I think it'll go on here now. I wouldn't want to say perfect because that's too many tries to be perfect. Just about stopped eating hay. Kids are getting enough grass that I've got round bales set out for them, and I've been feeding them a square bale or two in the afternoons, and they just about quit eating that. I'll clean it up anyway. I believe it just needs a little pull. be good to go now. <sighs> I've learned that I gotta try to be around and be up there at that place when everybody starts showing up at 8 o'clock in the morning or else some seems like you sit there and wait to get unloaded for a long time. Kind of looks like I got logs spread out all over and I really do compared to how it ought to be but we've uh, been getting a few logs in and we got a you now this this deal diversity is a big thing got to figure out how to be diverse and so we're always cutting all kind of different things which makes it more difficult Boy, sure is peaceful this morning. Birds singing. There's a little bit of overcast kind of made the sunrise or the light come up just a little bit. Usually it'd be really nice and light by now. Of course, we do all kind of custom cutting too, but we've been cutting a lot of these almost as many of these thin boards and those are sawn on 5 8 so they're about half inch and that's my load for today this is the start of the take five bundles of that to make a load for outfit up at Carthage and they called and ordered some other stuff and we had to uh, I'll go down here Showed me my old big cutoff saw. We had to do a little re rigging to make it so that we could cut stuff to length on it because it's a different dimension. Our other cutoff saw down there is uh, set up to cut 48 inch stuff. This old saw I bought from a guy, acquaintance from. Uh, off the forestry for them and it's a swing saw it's got a 15 horse three phase motor on it i think that's big enough i had to put a new blade on it but the way it works is this just swings out and it's pretty hard to pull to pull it out but once the blade gets into the wood it pulls itself some and that will cut right through a four by six just as fast as you can pull that out boom 
and you're cut all the way through an oak four by six. But it, you can see it's got different stops. Well, the the length of stuff that he needs is 54 and a half inches. Well, this stop here is 56 inches. So I just clamped a board on the inside of it. I uh, haven't done much to this saw besides hook it up and run it. And it we did buy a new blade and put on it. The old one was getting pretty dull, but it's still cut. And a new blade, I was able to find one about a hundred bucks. So. But we uh, got a hundred. 54 and a half inch, three by, or three and a half by three and a half to make, and then uh, over 600 uh, inch and a half by three and a half to make. And that's what they're going to start on making today. So um, that's the plan, anyway. You know how that plans go. So let's get set up here. See if we can't load this load of lumber, get it tied down so I can be ready to run. And I gotta, I gotta remember to get me an old, old tire, throw it on my pickup, so I got something to set that motor in. V8 motor, Chevrolet 350. <laughs> This is going to test my arm strength a little bit, sitting here holding up this big old heavy wood block, but it sure sets down nice. These are usually on my trailer, but the last thing we did with this was haul a pickup truck. So, you can't haul a pickup truck and carry some big old chunks of wood around with you at the same time. Well, I probably will knock you off from here, but there's a nice big piece of metal right there. I'll try to just set you up there and let you watch me load this lumber.
Well, that didn't take very long. And uh, I think I still got time. Oh yeah, it's only 7.30. I got time to uh, go up here and get me a tire to put that motor in. And get me a cup of coffee before I have to go. Thanks for watching my videos. This is Paul Case from the Case Ranch. We'll see you on the next one.